I'm an avid golfer. Uh, I love to fish. Uh, I kayak. I sail. I'm an active guy. Active is how Mark Hansen describes most of his life, doing the things he loved with his wife Linda until he had his first heart attack in 2002. Suddenly, I got really short of breath and I felt a tingling sensation in my fingertips. Doctors diagnosed Mark with congestive heart failure, and he had a bypass surgery, which helped him for many years. But then in 2018, his heart problems started again. Mark says he was in and out of the hospital every month, and in December of last year, doctors told him he would need a heart transplant. It could take as long as six months on the waiting list for a match. Mark knew time wasn't on his side. I was on a downward curve. I was just, I was not going to get better. I was just going to get worse and worse. Little did he know he would be getting a new heart just a month later. And it's all because of this machine. It's called the organ care system or heart in a box. It's a machine that keeps the heart pumping outside of the body to keep a donor heart viable for hours. Picture someone sliding and you're standing there getting ready to catch them. And this technology let us catch him in a way before he got kidney failure, before he got into shock. Before this, doctors used simple ice packs to preserve donor hearts. That would only keep the heart viable for four to six hours. Now, with heart in the box, hearts are viable for as long as 12 hours. Dr. Scott Silvestri says it was used to fly a donor heart from Canada to Orlando for a patient in Central Florida. By keeping the hearts perfused, we're able to go further to use hearts to allow the patients in Central Florida to receive transplants. Dr. Silvestri was the surgeon for Mark's transplants, which used this new technology. He says there's even more benefits that go further. Traditionally, donor hearts came from only patients who were brain dead. Now they can use hearts from patients who died from cardiac death because the heart in the box can revive the hearts. That means more hearts will be available for more people. One month after his heart transplant, Mark is progressing well. He's able to take short walks with his wife, and soon he's excited to get back to doing some of the things he loves, like spending time with his two daughters and his grandchildren, and getting back to his active lifestyle that he's missed for years. I asked uh, Dr. Silvestri when, was, when we started this, I asked him, I said, should I give away my golf clubs? And he goes, no, you'll need them. I've been given a, a second chance at life. I was, I was in a bad place. Advent Health Orlando was one of the test sites for Heart in a Box in 2021. The FDA approved it later that year. And get this, the technology isn't just for hearts. The company that makes the organ care system for the heart, Transmedics, also makes it for the lung and the liver using the same idea of preservation. Christy Kern, Fox 25 News.